Um, hello everyone. Uh, we learned the fifth line of the 100 character stele or tablet. Here we're talking about a very interesting twist in the whole um, uh, 100 characters. With the first four lines, we're talking about the integrated model, how we nurture our energy, how we transform or subdue our mind, and how we engage with our spiritual practice, and then we should let go and relax and have nothing in our mind and learn how to uh, appreciate and, and just be Zen. And probably that is a line, the first four lines, it's very easy but it's very integrated kind of practice. But at the fifth line here, there's something happened. What happened is uh, the, the Tao is usually think about nature, how being in nature, how to uh, really engage with nature, but what to do with human beings, with people who still live in the world, it can confuse world. And here the instruction how you deal with it. Here it said that um, uh, being truthful, being constant, uses to think to respond to people. So it takes into consideration of dealing with the people in the human world. So it's not that if you practice, then you need to go to the mountain and forget about the rest of the world and be so happy with nature. No, uh, you want to be down here with everyone, but with a whole different attitude. And the attitude is to be truthful, over here truthful here. Now truthfulness is the way that we ourselves feel so replete with um, kindness. When we are truthful to ourselves, um, we don't listen to our desire, but we listen to the truth within us. We listen to the small voice, to our con conscience, and therefore we become very much in tune with ourselves. Now, what destroys truthfulness is our selfishness, our egocentricity. And from selfishness, we, we become deceiving and telling lies easily. And therefore, when we are not selfish, we open our heart and our mind, we accept and receive, what happens is, truthfulness is always there. To be truthful is so critical, not only in the practice, but to deal with people here. The second element is constancy. Constancy is um, a very interesting kind of character. Uh, in Chinese, Zhen Chang is used to be mentioned all the time. Um, so to be constant is to be reliable. To be reliable, then people can really know that, okay, um, I can talk to you and whatever you say, I can rely on your information and you can carry through whatever you, you promise. So reliability is also the constancy. But usually it's be destroyed because a biased view, a partial view, a wrong view. So our view, sometimes we take side with this person, we take side with that person, we take side with this view, we take side with that view. Being partial can really destroy the constancy or the reliability of a person. So you, we want to be truthful, reliable. When we respond, we deal with people and deal with things. Now, it seems to be a very simple thing, but it's, it's a very key for us to have less afflictions. The moment that we are not being truthful, we're not being constant, we're unreliable, we have bio, biased views, we have partial view, and we become selfish, then what happens is, now our relationship with people becomes entangled. Once it's entangled, we have all kinds of afflictions, we have all, all kinds of troubles come to us. And it takes so much time to now untangle it. When it tangles up, it takes so much time to untangle it. And so, en entanglement is not something we want. And to practice the four components of uh, that, we, that the first four lines talking about, in order to nurture your energy and clear up your emotion, spa uh, s uh, practice spiritually, and then engage socially, meaningfully, then this is a way to do. Be truthful and be reliable. But the whole dynamics behind, if you see it, is about being a good person. 
really, really good person and being reliable. And that is the very key for the practice. Sometimes we think practice is like a technical thing. We want to meditate, get to somewhere, and we think that there is something down the line that after we practice for five or ten years and we get somewhere, we'll be somebody else. But actually, transformation happens every single day, happens every single time we practice. Happen because we changing the inside, we're changing our character, we're changing our trait, we're changing what is makeup of this being here. And therefore, the practice becomes so down to earth. At this very time, after the first four lines, the fifth line, the sixth line, they, uh, they, they, the old master make us to think about deep, deep permanent principle that we need to follow. And that is, that makes the, the teaching become so beautiful and so easy. Thank you everyone for listening. <laughs>